Okay, so this is a question I'm asked about a million times a day, and no, that's not an exaggeration. It is, where has developer options gone? We're going to find out. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So you might have bought a new Fire Stick, Fire TV, Fire TV Cube, and found that developer options are not there. Or you might have reset your Fire TV, Fire TV Stick, or Fire TV Cube back to factory defaults, and they've simply disappeared. So how do you get them back? Well, let's just go back to the main menu and just make sure we're looking in the right place. So go across to the settings cog just over there on the right, and then go down to My Fire TV just there, middle button on the remote, and developer options should be there below About, but as you can see, they're not. So what do we do? Okay, so make sure About is highlighted. Go into it just by pressing the middle button, and then go down to Update. Now you might find, like in the case of mine, it's already downloading an update, so let it download if it is. Okay, so like I say, if it was downloading an update, then make sure that you install it, so once it's checked for updates, then go into check for updates again and just push the middle button on the remote control a few times just to make sure once you've done that, then it's a good idea perhaps to go back, OK, and uh, and then go back into settings and then down to My Fire TV and then down to restart, middle button on the remote control, then left hand side there go into that there middle button okay and just let the fire stick restart once it's restarted then go across to the settings cog just on the right there middle button then go down to My Fire TV, middle button, and then go into About, and then go down to Check for Updates, and just highlight Check for Updates with the middle button, just to make sure that there's no more updates. Because the, the idea behind getting the Fire Stick up to date is because it could well be that it actually restores the updates for you, or restore, sorry, restores the developer options for you. But if it doesn't, Hopefully an update isn't going to come along and wipe it out again straight away. So, so once we're sure there's no more updates available, so what we want to do is once we're sure there's no more updates is let's press the home button on the remote control, OK, and just make sure we're back to the main menu and then go across to the settings cog there, go down to My Fire TV, middle button, and then... We should have about just there. Just check to make sure that developer options hasn't come back. OK, so if it hasn't, go into about and then highlight the name of your Fire TV device. So it's going to say the Fire TV. It's going to say Fire TV Cube, Fire TV Stick, Fire TV Device. Whatever, whatever your Fire TV device is called, it will be up there below about and above storage. So make sure that's highlighted. Now, what we need to do is we need to press this middle button, the button inside the ring of the remote, seven times with that highlighted in quick succession. So make sure whatever your Fire TV device is called, make sure that it's highlighted there, okay, and press this button seven times in quick succession. So let's do that now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there you go. No need, it says no need, you're already a developer. And now if we press the back button on the remote control, developer options is now there and we have all the options there. So there you go. That guide showed you how to get your developer options back on your Fire TV device. I hope this video helped. And whilst you're here at my YouTube channel, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. I've got thousands of videos here. Hopefully you'll find something to educate you entertain you and maybe even amuse you. I hope you liked this video and if you did hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines and if you haven't done so already make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released hit that subscribe button then hit the bell then hit all.
You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.